Greetings and welcome back to season two of Bella Villains. I'm so excited because season, I ended season one kind of fucked up. That's the first thing. I ain't gonna lie. But that was one of the many setbacks. And then season two, I am actually doing it all on my own. Like everything you see, including editing and photos and all that shit, videos, that's all me. So... I make, you, you can either be intimidated or you can be excited. So I'm going to be excited about it because this will be the first video like truly edited by me on my channel. Sadly, me and Southern Suave have went separate ways, but I do appreciate all the work and time that he put into my videos. But, you know, this is real life. Um, that's why I like to incorporate my vlog so that you see that the come up. Because the come up is beautiful when you can see it. So we have gone separate ways. And being that we were so close, I feel like I have learned a lot. And I should be able to do this. I know I can do this. I am doing this. I am going to do this. This is happening. This is like positive affirmation. Season 2 is Creep 1 and Creep 2. And you can find both of these movies on Netflix. They're kind of like hidden gems, which they are. It's perfect form. They are. They're hidden gems. I love them. I love the second one more because it had a woman that I could relate to, Sarah. I was like, the, during the movie, I was like, get his ass, girl. Because he's all, you know how creeps kind of try to come off innocent and shit. But, you know, if you don't know, I have a list here. So, you'll know if you're a creep. Because the reason, another reason I want to do this fucking movie review it is because there are so many fucking creeps out there. If you're a server or you work somewhere, like, kind of in the public, and you know, you're kind of easy on the eyes, there are so many fucking creeps. Like, I don't even know what to say anymore. They just make it awkward and uncomfortable, and then they roll with that. So, anyways, yeah. So, that's another reason. I'm going to give you the, a list so you know. So, so, so we'll know women, and so you'll know guys if you watch this, which, I mean, it's just, I mean, I'm, hell, I'm a creep too, in a way, you know, kind of when I'm like, when you see like a fine guy that's just like, kind of like eye candy, I'll be like, damn. And then I stop, because I remember I'm a lady, southern lady, and I'm like, drop it like it's hot, drop, drop it like it's hot. I'm going to come in a little closer so you could appreciate the makeup, because been a while i've been rocking the short hair it's hot here in louisiana so yeah it's it's really hot it's like um unweavable hot that's how fucking hot it is yeah all right so creep one came out i have notes here thank you um creep one was released in 2014 and creep two was released in 2017 i knew it i should have believed in myself because i didn't even have to look i knew it so they had a little time gap between them turns out that the stars of the movie creep the first one are also the writers and directors of it correct yes yes and creep two yes and then the lady sarah um, which her name is Desiree Hakamanana or something. It's, it's a little different, a little hard for me to say with my southern accent, you know. It limits us to say stuff, simple stuff. <laughs> Anyways, so she was like the director of the cinematography for it, which is really fucking cool. Because, I mean, the cast is really small. It's only a couple people, but that's all you need because they're like... You get the point. In Creep 1, um, the main character's name is Joseph. And the guy that he is creeping on is Aaron. And then in Creep 2, the, the creep, Joseph, takes on the name Aaron. And the person that he is, it's kind of a different scenario. Because he is a little bit, he has a different way that he approaches this you know so in creep one we get to kind of meet him we get to see what his game is you know how he's just he's really good at making you uncomfortable which is a characteristic of a creep you know he he he, he does a lot of things like you know one of my things i think a creep talks about sex too quickly and also gets naked fast like if he's like showing like uh-uh uh-uh i'm I'm a little older now, so a lot of shit, I'm like, red flag, out of here, fuck you. But anyways, um, 
And Creep 2, though, he kind of does the same thing, though. But she says she's a woman. She's able to use that feminine energy right back at him. And I was like, I was just really for her. And I was really for her. But I can't. Joseph Aaron Creep, whatever you want to call him. He does have a certain charm to him because he's like, he, he comes off real innocent. He's like, for what? For what? You know, and the whole time, while he's looking real innocent, he's planning out how he's going to kill you, he's fucking with you. It's just, it's a total mind game. And that's another thing. It's mind games for creeps. So, his strengths is that he is, first of all, he knows his surroundings. Wherever he's taking you or he lures you to, he knows that area. He's in shape. He can handle the, the physical parts of that area. He's smart. He's very good at kind of pissing you off and then being able to diffuse it real quick. You're like, you ever met somebody like that in real life? Like, they say some offensive shit, but then they can diffuse it behind, like, this innocence. And you're like, person like me, I'm like, but I'm still pissed off. I forget about that. Uh, anyways, um, that's why I, I know it wouldn't have worked with me because I would, I'm just so just kind of he would have probably killed me fast which is kind of fucked up you know but anyways um another strength of his is that he makes eye contact you know like he keeps the eye contact so you don't really like when someone's always staring at you intensely it's hard for you to kind of think because you're just like what the fuck are they staring at do they like me do i look good what the fuck's going on he can read people and he, I don't know, it's just something about him that, you know, you really don't think that, you, you just think he might be off. But, like in Creep 2, he was actually telling you the truth. He was like, this is who I am. This is what I do. And she was like, hmm. Okay, interesting. So, you know, so I just, it was just, it was a great movie. And then I heard that there might be a third one. And I was like, fuck yeah, I wonder what perspective this is going to be. We're going to have some, some more, some black people, you know, to see, you know, because hmm, maybe so, I don't know, you know. I don't think we should do a black woman. I don't think that would be a long story. But, um, we could, we should do it, you know. What else is Joseph Aaron Creep a ally or a villain? He is a villain. You cannot trust this guy. He is going to. He has a plan with you from the beginning. If he messes with you, he has a plan for, with you from the beginning. He he's And it involves you dying, you know, even if he likes you. He's just like, oh, I'm going to remember that I really liked you. What you did. Now I'm going to give you the 10, I think it might be 7. Hold on, let me check seven characteristics that you or maybe somebody you know probably like your uncle or something is a creep you know the uncles it's just it's a lot of creeps in 2021 yes so many the first one is you stare what i told you that was i noticed that off the bat you ask the second one is you ask awkward ass questions like, and you just, you tell stories that we don't need to know yet. We just met. We don't need to know that, you know. Number three is you won't give up. When someone's like, all right, I'm about to go, and they just will not let you leave. That's kind of a creep. Yeah. Or she's kind of a creep. Women can be creeps too, you know. Like I said, I thought I was, I thought it was cute, but now that I'm watching this movie, I'm like, it probably isn't that cute. It probably makes guys uncomfortable. <laughs> But if you're going to look at me like a piece of meat, I try to, like, return the favor and make you uncomfortable. You know, rub each other's back. All right, number four. Oh, shit. You stalk. That means, like, go and check people's Facebooks and look, checking their locations. I think the locations are big. That's a new age shit, checking people's locations. I'm like, mm. yeah, I keep that shit off. Off. Yeah. I'm very kind of private because I know guys just, not just guys, but people just get these ideas in their heads and you just have to kind of protect yourself. That's what I'm saying. It's just, if you're going to look cute, you know, you know, they're thinking that you want it and you're just smiling at them because they look kind of fugly. So number five is you have no personal space. <sighs> this happens with tall guys a lot. Like back the fuck up. Okay. Back the fuck up. 
<laughs> no, it just is a lot of people. They just say, you know, <sighs> we, we're living with some weird ones nowadays. So it's just, it's people just don't know the, the personal space and then they're awkward at the same time. So you just feel like getting the fuck out of there. You ramble. See, I ramble. I think it's cute, but it might not be cute. I don't know. Number six is you ramble. And number five is you are too eager. I ain't gonna lie. I When you meet somebody new, I'm very eager. That's probably why I've met so many different guys. You know, but um, this is not about dating, but this is just about in general. But I'm just relating to it the way I know how. A lot of customers, if you're a waitress, are like this. And it's like, I wonder if they treat nurses like that. You know, like, because we're really just doing a service. You know, we're supposed to be nice, but they just, ooh, boo, boo. So that's, uh, you know, just kind of break that down and just know who you're dealing with. You ain't going to stop a creep from being a creep, you know, but at least know who you're dealing with so you don't get caught up in no situation where it's just like y'all two and you end up having to bust his ass. So, um, overall, I give this movie like nine creeps. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, like... It, it was, like, it hit. I liked it. The first one, I watched it again, and I liked it more. But the second one, I didn't, I liked it from the beginning, and I was rooting for her. I thought she was cute. Even though she had a little armpit hair, she still was cute. If you catch the armpit hair, let me know. I was like, damn, no, Sarah, huh? It was bushy. She might be, you know, that shit's in, too. I'm not perfectly shaved right now, but I couldn't braid it or nothing, you know? So, but she was cute. She was cute. It, overall, it's just, it's a good movie to know what, like, the time and era that we're living in, you need to be, you need to know what the fuck you're dealing with. So, I enjoyed it. And I, um, I hope you watch it and you enjoy it. And you can comment, like, people that have watched it, they're like, oh, shit, I loved it. It was so weird. And it was, yeah, but it was, it was a good movie. I created two looks to, um, combat. And I'm gonna pop them in right here. But the first one is I have the lightning on my eye. That's for, that's for the first movie because he did so many jump scares and he took him to so many places and it got dark that I would literally have like a bolt of lightning on me so that I could light this shit up all the time. Like, you, I got something for you too, boo. I got something for you too. Boom. Okay. You want to scare me? Let me scare you. Right? And then my look for... My second look for movie two, it was really... It was really more um, inspired by her because I thought she was cute and I liked her purple hair and then I liked how she switched it up at the end. It, she did everything I would do. I mean, except the hot tub thing. But I don't know if I was really trying to get out of there. You know, I was like, she got a knife, she got a camera, she's going to be all right. You know, and I was like, he's starting to... Mm. You know, women was... <laughs> I was, I was I was like, get him. Get him. You know what I'm talking about? Get him. And it worked, but he was crazy as fucking hell, so it didn't work all the way. That's how it be. Then you end up. Hmm. Well, anyways, go watch these movies. And I hope you enjoyed these looks. And uh, there's more shit to come. I just, now I got more freedom and more creativity. So... Maybe it was a good thing.